Despite our attempts to remain rational, emotions often have a greater impact on decision-making than we realize. We may think we are in control of every aspect of our life, but emotional responses and desires can significantly influence our behavior and cause us to favor ideas that make us feel comfortable or proud. Such people often follow their preconceived notions, which can lead to them making wrong decisions and become trapped in a never-ending cycle of misery. They tend to only search for information that reaffirms their belief and disregard anything that contradicts it. This bias prevents them from accurately interpreting new evidence and situation around them, thus leading to bad decisions. Practicing rational thinking can be difficult, but it is a powerful skill to acquire. It helps us to objectively evaluate situations and better understand what's really happening beyond our emotions. Rationality doesn't come easily, but with consistent effort, we can unleash our highest potentials. Although it is believed that modern society is based on logic and reason, in reality, a lot of our decisions are based on our emotional responses. As emotional creatures, humans are more likely to make decisions based on emotion rather than logic, which can often lead to irrational choices. Since the 5th century BC, individuals have strived to be rational and succeeded. The renowned Athenian politician Pericles is credited for setting an example of rationality by advocating for it. During this time period, Athens faced the imminent threat of an attack from Sparta that was spread in rumors. Pericles advocated for the use of moderation on the part of Athenian leaders, as opposed to launching a preemptive strike. He was aware that any aggressive action would spark off an all-out conflict, so his message was clear. Keep a level head instead. Sadly, he passed away from the plague soon afterwards. Without being guided by logic, Athens was swayed heavily by emotion when making decisions. This ultimately led to conflict with Sparta and almost brought about the destruction of the city of Athens. Pericles was renowned for his exemplary patience, and by taking our cue from him, we can make well-informed decisions that are rational rather than getting carried away with emotions. He was a master of considering all the available options before zeroing in on one. He was firm in his conviction that decisions should be made with clear logic and sound reason, even if they went against the tide of public opinion or posed a challenge to those in power. As a result, he would take into account all relevant information before taking any course of action. Apart from the amount of time it takes for humans to make decisions, there are also other biases at play. Humans have an inclination towards making decisions that can be driven by cognitive biases, Looking for evidence to back up your existing beliefs and opinions can be a common practice. However, it's important to be open-minded and consider all sources of information before drawing any conclusions, which is called confirmation bias. We can be prone to thinking that our opinions are more accurate just because we have a greater emotional connection to the subject, which is called conviction bias. It isn't always true that people who appear attractive or affluent are necessarily good people. There can be many other qualities one should look out for to decide if someone is of a good character. This is called appearance bias. Well, here we does not suggest completely disregarding emotions and blindly believing what our in-group believes. Instead, the optimum solution would be to pair your thoughts with your feelings and give yourself time to make knowledgeable choices that are founded on facts, and this is known as group bias. Social media can easily create a whirlwind of emotions which can be hard to take in especially with its constant presence. We need to take some time away from it all and process our thoughts calmly before reacting. As human beings, we often have a desire to shape others and make them different from how they really are. This can be very damaging and is a major source of pain and anguish for people. It's important to recognize that we cannot change people, no matter how hard we try. Only by accepting this will we begin to find contentment in our lives. Parents often threaten their children with punishment when they misbehave. Unfortunately, this does not fix the issue. Rather, it can teach children how to be better at avoiding getting caught. Such a strategy may prove ineffective in the long run and is not advisable. Acknowledging the fact that we are all unique and have different perspectives can help us reduce our frustration. Rather than aiming to alter people, understanding their beliefs and motives is far more effective. Accepting their differences is the key to developing a solid relationship with others. When engaging with someone trying to get a better understanding of their motives, take the time to truly listen and pick up on as many details as you can. People are usually more than willing to talk about themselves, so it shouldn't be too hard. 
Once you've acquired all the necessary information, step back and thoroughly analyze it. By following these approaches, you'll be able to gain insight into the individual's needs and figure out ways to ensure their success. Our capacity for empathy can be useful in better comprehending the character of those around us. It may help us recognize whenever someone has created a persona or is wearing a mask to hide behind. This awareness is a valuable asset when trying to support someone in exhibiting their genuine self. Adversity often reveals one's true character. Through careful observation, we can get a better understanding of someone's personality when faced with challenging situations. Pursue to enhance your character. It's common for us to put on a mask and present ourselves favorably, even if it does not reflect reality. But striving for self-improvement requires removing the mask and embracing who you truly are. We are taught early on to go along with what our parents say so that we can experience various benefits. This is how our society functions, stressing the importance of teamwork and thoughtfulness. Consequently, any display of extreme feelings or acting selfishly is generally not accepted by our culture. Consequently, these behaviors are not implemented if we don't appreciate someone else or if we just wish to look out for our own interests. We should take advantage of social media to create and show our ideal selves. By doing so, we can keep our insecurities hidden and the world can be a better place. Furthermore, having a persona lets us protect ourselves from potential threats or harm. Thinking positively about our goals can help us feel connected to them and increase our chances of manifesting them in the future. Visualizing yourself as that person you want to become reinforces this belief, leading to better outcomes in the long run. We tend to focus on problems that can have more direct and noticeable effects, like terrorism, instead of taking into consideration those with more serious long-term consequences, like climate change. This is due to our innate evolutionary tendencies from the past. In the past, people were preoccupied with their day-to-day -day survival, which made them think only of the short term. Fortunately, this outlook is being replaced by an increased understanding of the need to plan for long-term sustainability and make decisions that can lead to a better future. It's important to explore all potential avenues when solving a problem and contemplate the consequences of not doing so. Taking a step back can be extremely beneficial, as it highlights how our current issues were likely caused by the lack of foresight in the past. Knowing this point can help us prioritize the most important issues so that we can tackle them more effectively. Oftentimes, once we've achieved success, our arrogance becomes a hindrance. We tend to be very full of ourselves and often fail to recognize the contributions of others. Robert mentions that humans have a natural inclination towards narcissism, and this varies in degree, from healthy levels to more extreme cases where people view other individuals as a part of themselves. Narcissism in children is often attributed to excessive parenting or lack of parental attention. Too much involvement from parents can stifle a kid's individuality, and too little focus can lead to low self-confidence. Surprisingly, deep narcissists lack the self-love often assumed to be related to narcissism. As a result, developing an understanding of and appreciation for yourself can be beneficial in managing healthier levels of narcissism. Achieving success is rarely an individual effort, and requires the help and guidance of others as well as a bit of luck. To keep ourselves grounded, it's important to remember how we got here. We must not let our gender define what we can or cannot accomplish in life. According to Robert Greene, it's important to be conscious of both our masculine and feminine characteristics and embrace them so that we can become well-rounded people. Famous personalities like David Bowie illustrated this perfectly by adopting a more feminine side in order to take advantage of all his strengths. Caterina Sforza, born of a powerful Italian dynasty in 1463, was known for her proficiency in both masculine and feminine activities. She studied martial arts as well as fashion and the arts, which enabled her to become a strong figure among those around her. According to the laws of human nature, our perspectives of male and female roles are rooted in both biology and society. Nevertheless, if we strive to embrace both sides, our interactions can be significantly strengthened. We should strive to gain the best attributes of both genders. Men have a knack for categorization, whereas women tend to look for interweaving patterns and links. By opening up to the feminine side of themselves, men can pick up greater comprehension and insight into how women think and feel. An ideal way to problem solve is to bring together multiple approaches. This can provide optimal results, particularly when working on complex issues. 
Refrain from succumbing to group mentality if it is decreasing your productivity. We often judge ourselves in comparison to others and waste time worrying about what other individuals may have thought of us. It's essential to separate yourself from this type of behavior and focus on your own growth instead. When working as a team, there are definite benefits that come along. Everyone is focused on the same goal and can help each other stay motivated. However, it's also important to be aware of potential risks associated with group work. Being in a group setting can cause us to forget about our principles and core values. We start to mimic the behavior of those around us and lose our special qualities, including the ability to think outside of the box. Group settings can cause us to make decisions that are not always the best, as we often follow the crowd instead of thinking for ourselves. This leads to irrational choices that might not be in our best interests. It is important to remember to think things through logically before deciding when presented with group dynamics. Thus, it is essential for us to make sure to stay away from the group's trap. Individuals with a fragile persona would struggle more when attempting to break out of the grasp of the group. Some methods which can be used in order to elude the influence of a group are Maintaining objectivity and clarity of thought even in the face of conflicting opinions is key. Developing an internal sense of awareness while being involved in group settings is also essential. And lastly, staying focused on the present moment instead of getting distracted with thoughts and emotions can be beneficial. According to the laws of human nature, our perspectives of male and female roles are rooted in both biology and society. Nevertheless, if we strive to embrace both sides, our interactions can be significantly strengthened. We should strive to gain the best attributes of both genders. Men have a knack for categorization, whereas women tend to look for interweaving patterns and links. By opening up to the feminine side of themselves, men can pick up greater comprehension and insight into how women think and feel. An ideal way to problem solve is to bring together multiple approaches. This can provide optimal results, particularly when working on complex issues. Refrain from succumbing to group mentality if it is decreasing your productivity. We often judge ourselves in comparison to others and waste time worrying about what other individuals may have thought of us. It's essential to separate yourself from this type of behavior and focus on your own growth instead. When working as a team, there are definite benefits that come along. Everyone is focused on the same goal and can help each other stay motivated. However, it's also important to be aware of potential risks associated with group work. Being in a group setting can cause us to forget about our principles and core values. We start to mimic the behavior of those around us and lose our special qualities, including the ability to think outside of the box. Group settings can cause us to make decisions that are not always the best, as we often follow the crowd instead of thinking for ourselves. This leads to irrational choices that might not be in our best interests. It is important to remember to think things through logically before deciding when presented with group dynamics. Thus, it is essential for us to make sure to stay away from the group's trap. Individuals with a fragile persona would struggle more when attempting to break out of the grasp of the group. Some methods which can be used in order to elude the influence of a group are maintaining objectivity and clarity of thought even in the face of conflicting opinions is key. Developing an internal sense of awareness while being involved in group settings is also essential. And lastly, staying focused on the present moment instead of getting distracted with thoughts and emotions can be beneficial. Don't see your weaknesses as a handicap, but as an opportunity to grow. For instance, aggression is something that can be used in an advantageous way. Instead of getting carried away with it, try to find ways to productively channel the energy and use it for different tasks. As an example, we can take John D. Rockefeller from the 19th century. The businessman had a partner named Maurice Clark, but his pushiness to expand the business irritated him. Rockefeller would never let up on pressuring Maurice to take their business further. Maurice was so irked by this situation that he sold his part of the business at auction, and Rockefeller bought it. With what he did with the little business, he turned it into one of the most dominant companies ever, known as Standard Oil Company. Rockefeller took a tiny business and transformed it into a successful venture that continues to be relevant even today. This is mainly due to his sophisticated aggressiveness. As humans, our aggressive nature has made us the most powerful species on Earth. Therefore, it's important to not keep your aggressive impulses at bay. Turning them inward will only lead to passive aggression. Instead, we need to recognize our aggression and find a constructive use for it.
It can help you be more fearless and persistent. 